Deputy Speaker. Following the powerful debate on the coronavirus job retention scheme that's just taken place, um, this is an equally unfair adjust- uh, injustice so, uh, as that one. And so I'm glad to speak in today's debate on behalf of the hundreds of freelancers and self employed workers in my constituency who've contacted me um, as they fall outside the various COVID support schemes. Those who've contacted me include high and low earners. They work across many sectors, including those that have been devastated, such as the arts and culture and aviation. They include those working TV and media. They're minicab drivers, supply teachers. They work in events and IT and other transport. They include those who have set up a company and employ others, those who are contractors or work part-time, and there are those in the gig economy. These people generate economic growth. They pay taxes on the most part, except for the very low earners. They train others. They enrich our cultural life. Um, And yet, despite the explosion of self-employed and freelancers in the UK to around 3 million, too many government policies, tax uh, arrangements and HMRC processes still see the world through the lens of PIYE and permanent workers. And the COVID recovery scheme is no different from all the other ones. I think that that's why too many freelancers and self-employed taxpayers um, have fallen through this gap and fallen for the cultural block of the Treasury and HMRC. So despite many of us writing letters, many people submitting petitions, etc., the Treasury isn't listening. There have been a number of solutions proposed by those affected um, and that we've heard examples today, those for, in limited companies, uh, which has particularly hit the TV and creative sector in my constituency, the government could use dividend, certi- certi- dividend certificates as a form of proof. Those on maternity leave, SEISS calculations could calculate the time spent uh, uh, on maternity and shared parental leave and exclude that. Those self-employed, uh, the HMR- HMRC could uh, use evidence such as their UPR to calculate a rough income. Uh, And finally, those who earn less than 50% of their income from self-employed work, uh, a taper beyond 50,000 would be appropriate. Um, And as others, I've replied and not had an adequate, uh, anything more than a generic response from the government. I do acknowledge many self-employed people have been helped, and the Minister will no doubt reel off the list of how many millions of of taxpayers' money has been spent on how many thousands of people. Um, But what this House and our constituents want to hear is what those in other nations across the world provide. Honesty, acknowledgement, acknowledgement they're listening, and where appropriate, adaptation. And finally, I want to address the issue of universal credit. With the rents over £2,000 in my constituency, too many people are excluded from any benefits.